Hey everyone, Chris McMonagle here from LMI Technologies, giving you an update on the latest firmware release 6.1 SR3 uh, that can easily be uploaded to any GoCater out in the field. Um, this includes some new features and functionality within the GoCater, uh, and also some improvements to existing tools uh, to give you more capability and to get to uh, ultimately your, your application needs much faster. Um, the first one I wanted to highlight was the Surface Feature Mass Tool. Uh, you can think of this as dynamic cropping of images based off of inputs of other tools. So think of if you've got varying sizes of boxes, um, instead of cropping to the same size every time, we can use specific features to dynamically change that region to crop and uncrop images. Um, so if we jump into our web interface here, um, the first thing I'll do is I'll highlight a, a new addition to our Surface Bounding Box Advanced tool. Um, what this now has is the ability to show corners. So if we go to features here, we typically only find the center point of this as a, as a feature output. But if we apply show corners, we can now go ahead and extract the intersecting corners of this bounding box uh, as outputs for other tools within our feature tree. Um, and so we can see a point over here. This will be a coordinate that we'll use later in our surface feature mass tool. So this is a new tool that allows you to do dynamic cropping of images to um, isolate specific regions based off of the sizing logic. So the first thing we'll do is we'll apply uh, four points because we're gonna be cropping to a box. And we'll then use the outputs of those corners as inputs to our surface feature mass tool. Um, now that we have that, the 3D view shows a, a red rectangle or uh, box associated with that mask. Um, but we don't want to mask the edges anymore. We're doing this so that we can isolate the edge and only look inside this tote. Um, and so what we have here is a padding distance in which we can then go in, um, let's say around you know 45 millimeters inward. Uh, and that way, based off of whatever box comes by, we, we come in and, and crop that view uh, accordingly. So now as an output surface, this is our new uh, mass surface for this uh, that we can then do void fill, uh, part detection, things of that nature. Um, and then finally, the nice uh, new additional functionality is within our output tab. We have a, a ability to trigger an event based off of our GoCater detecting a part has crossed through the laser line profiler. And this is under our part detection trigger event. So think of this as replacing a photo eye um, as soon as a GoCater detects a part has crossed through the laser line profiler, we can trigger an event to other systems to then uh, trigger them. So that could be barcode scanning, um, whatever you need. So um, nice new functionality to simplify your system and ultimately reduce costs. So yeah, so that's some updates to uh, GoCater 6.1 SR3. If you have any other questions or you want to review this, please feel free to reach out to us at uh, lmi3d.com. Thank you.